Today. So here's a look at what it feels like everywhere else here across the country. So we're dealing with even colder temperatures, especially as, it were, as we're seeing those states closer to Canada. And that's because all that cold Arctic air continues to just kind of seep down into the south. And that's why Texas is looking at some very cold temperatures. You can see this morning a lot colder than us, even though for us it is very cold uh, for our standards. But you can see that we're starting to see all that wintry mix move a little bit more eastward there. But we're left with some quieter conditions as we're waiting for a ridge of high pressure to build in and this high will allow things to finally warm up. But this morning, take a look at our highs. Currently, we're looking at temperatures in the 30s and 40s, and then we do have some teens up in the high desert communities and then also up in the mountains. We do have single digits. So bundle up this morning. It is cold and then each night for the next couple of nights, it will remain cold because we don't have clouds overhead as we are waiting for this high pressure system to strengthen. But the warming trend finally begins today. How much snow do we get? We actually saw a foot of snow for the Big Bear area under a foot for Snow Valley uh, about half a foot for the Forest Falls, Wrightwood and Running Springs area, two inches for Crestline, one to two inches for Fraser Park. Some areas hit or miss, so some areas like LA and Ventura County didn't quite get as much rain as Orange County and the Inland Empire. Beaumont saw over three quarters of an inch. Larson Ranch, same thing, over half an inch for Upper Harding, which is in the mountains of Santa Ana in Orange County. Temecula saw just under half an inch of rain. Cal State San Bernardino and Claremont over a quarter inch. So now that the system has moved out of here, we're waiting for this high pressure system, so it's quiet but cold this morning and then we're going to start to see these offshore winds pick up and that's really going to allow things to warm up as this high pressure system gets a little bit stronger and moves a little bit closer to us. Seven day forecast shows that as we look ahead to the weekend, because I know all eyes are always on the weekend, that we're looking at those temperatures going back up into the 70s. So beaches, 60s today, same with the metro, going to the 70s by Saturday and Sunday. And then you can see by Tuesday, we're looking at 80s arriving for the metro areas, 80s for the valleys by Monday. So we're definitely looking at a little bit of a warming trend each and every day. And then that warm up really takes hold of the Southland once we head into the start of next week. Back to you guys.